Sneaker Addicts, what up? It's your boy DJ Dells. We got these A6 I cop for only $18.99. I want to see what you think about it. Was it worth such a great steal of a deal or are they still kind of whatever? Let's get into the review. All right, so here we go with a close-up look at these Gel Diablos. They do come with another set of laces and um, I think... They would probably look best with the red. I'm going to go with the red. Maybe black laces would look dope too. Let me know in the chat, in the comments, which laces you would go with. White, red, or black. Leave it in the comments. So, up close on this shoe, I will say, once again, nice leather. As usual, you're never going to get trash materials on Asics. That's one thing for sure. You have some suede on the panel here and on the toe with some red hits. And as I was saying, you've got your red laces. I think that the red looks really nice with your ASIC Gel Diablo branding. And on the outsole, really cool on these. How you have like the comic book pop-ups right there. Really sweet. And that translucent, just it works so nice, translucent when you have graphics on the bottom. I never could understand why not take advantage and put graphics through the translucent. So I'm glad they did that. You have your ASICS branding on the back with some dots throughout this heel counter, which um, looks real cool, man. It, it definitely gives it some life. And looking at the medial side real quick, check it out. I don't know how these fit yet. We will try them on in just a moment and I will let you know that. And I will link these in the description box below. I did pick them up for um, $18.99. Um, you can still get them for I think $34.99, which is still a ridiculous deal for these shoes, especially if you like how they look like on feet. I'm so positive that these are gonna look really nice on feet. So um, let's get into that. All right, so here's a look at them on feet. They feel comfortable as far as the fit. I think true to size is the move. There's a little bit of room in the front by the toe, I will say that. Just a little bit though. Um, I don't recommend going up half a size. If you have a wide foot, go up half a size. But if you have a standard foot, stay true to size. I think that's the move. But uh, let me know if you own a pair of these. I really love how they look like on feet. Uh, I have a bunch of basics, but I never owned this model and I actually really like them. So uh, this probably will not be the last time I purchase this actual model. And you know, we gotta hit you with the birds of you. <laughs> yeah, these are dope, man. I like them. Let me know what you think of. I'm not trying to sell you them. So if you think they trash, leave it in the comments. I'm gonna get, you know, zero offense taken by you saying that they're trash so don't worry about it and uh, once again if you own these let me know what you think of them and there you go let me know what you think of these make sure to bong bong hit the thumbs up button show that love and support for your boy dj dells the sneaker addict thumbs up the video subscribe if you're new and let me know if you think these are hot or not and pick up the newest Sneaker Attic t-shirt. Subscribe if you're new and turn all notifications on because we do go live a lot and it's a lot of fun. So hang out. Make sure to turn the notifications on. Subscribe. Pick up the newest Sneaker Attic t-shirts. Join the Patreon. Check out the description box below if you're looking for these kicks and much more. And we out.